UFC 150 at the Pepsi Center in Denver, Colorado. Benson Henderson will be defending his lightweight title against former champion Frankie Edgar and former Strike Force and Elite XC champion Jake Shields will face top middleweight Ed Short Fuse Herman in a battle of middleweight contenders. I felt I got takedowns. You know, I kind of fought how I always fight. And, you know, I did think I won the fight. Didn't turn out that way. It's a dog eat dog world in this game. You're only as good as your last fight. Frankie Edgar has unbelievable determination and resolve. If you look back, the first fight with Gray Mater, it was the first loss of his career. And he came back to have an incredibly moving rematch. Shots. One of the most, if not the most spectacular fight in the history of the lightweight division. This fight is considered a draw. Comes back in the rubber match and makes it even crazier. Frankie is, is at his best when the pressure's on, and that's his motivation, and that's, that's Frankie. To fight, you know, whether there's a belt involved or not, you still have to prepare, and you still have to train for your opponent, and you still have to get in there and, and apply everything you've trained. You know, I want to win every fight. Frankie Edgar is a guy with an incredible amount of heart and determination and spirit, and he's gonna need all of those to get past Benson Henderson. I just want to be the best, greatest of all time. I got a lot of hard work, I got a lot of steps to go before I get there. Thankfully, I'm not scared of hard work. Henderson clearly kicked things up several notches since he started competing in the UFC. He has gone through such tough fighters and really has put on some spectacular performances. And he's on top of Miller. And he's a big shot. Miller's in all kinds of trouble. Benson Henderson is a huge lightweight. He cuts an incredible amount of weight, but he does it scientifically. Where he comes in, he is never malnourished. He is never depleted. He just fights at the optimal weight class for his frame. He's about as big as you can get to be 155 pounds and have no problem whatsoever making that weight. I'm in the gym seven hours a day, working on getting better. It's just who I am, it's just what I do. I, I thought I did enough to win the first round. Frankie was doing really well, and boom. I definitely slowed Frankie down. But Frankie, up until that up kick, he was controlling that fight. That was a huge up kick by Henderson. It did a lot of damage. I think it definitely sealed the round for me. I felt I was winning until that up kick. If you don't take away that up kick, he's up 2 nothing, And things are going smooth. Frankie is obviously entitled to his opinion. He can think whatever he wants, you know? Thing a little bit different. The fight was close, it was controversial, and uh, now it's my turn to, to get my rematch. Oh, big right hand by Henderson. Every fight I have from now on is going to be the fight of my life. It's going to be the, the career defining moment. Benson Smooth Henderson, the new champion. I will defeat Frank Yeager for the second time. I will remain the lightweight champ of the world. Ben Henderson will not defend the belt because uh, the belt belongs to me, Frankie Edgar. I think the UFC fans have seen my best performances yet. My best performances have been outside the UFC, and I want to come out there and do one of these great performances and show the UFC fans what I'm all about and get my name back in the title hunt. I had 
Herman's a really tough guy and hard to beat. I want to go out there and just smash him. Big left hand. His ground game is outstanding. I feel like I match up with Jake well. I feel like it's a great fight for me. I can defend his takedowns, beat him up in the clinch, beat him up on the outside. I feel like I can pick him apart. And Herman with a big left hook. Wow. Jake Shields. Jake Shields versus Ed Herman is a very important fight for both fighters. Jake Shields is important because he had previously dropped down to welterweight in UFC fights, but felt that he was weakening his body too much in doing so and was unable to perform to the best of his ability inside the octagon. Split decision victory in his UFC debut. He had to make a decision, and that decision was to both back up and try to compete where he had successfully won the strike force belt, and that is at 185 pounds. I'm much happier Go. training at 85s. I'm trying to do a lot more uh, strength and conditioning, uh, trying to stay strong. Because before, I'd have to suck my weight off, so I'd stop, you know, lifting all that. Jake Shields is an incredibly gifted grappler, a multiple-time jiu-jitsu champion, and a guy who uses what he calls American jiu-jitsu. He utilizes his wrestling to get fights to the ground, and then uses his submission to force guys to tap out in a very wrestling-type style. I'll do, you know, double or single takedown or body locks, you know, I like to go in there and blast. I think that's what he's most susceptible to. He likes to get in the tie-up and try to throw your upper body. He is, in my opinion, the very best Brazilian jiu-jitsu guy fighting in the 185-pound division. He has a wealth of international experience as a submission grappler, on top of the fact that he is the former strike force middleweight champion. Not only do I want to win, I want to finish him. Jake Shields! Ed Short Fuse Herman has really improved with his striking. He's always had some excellent submission skills, but Ed has really shown some knockout power to go along with that. Especially in the Tim Crater fight. Ed Short Fuse Herman was the first guy to really stagger Tim Crater inside the octagon and put him away. The first guy to stop Crazy Tim inside the UFC octagon. Ed Herman just like that! prove people I'm a legitimate contender and that they have to watch out for me. I'm dangerous, I can beat you in any way. If you doubt me, you're in trouble. I'm always trying to finish guys as fast as I can. I'm gonna knock Jake out, second round. I will be world champion. There's certainly a lot of great fighters in the, the middleweight division. I'm capable of beating any of them. I'm gonna dictate the pace of the fight. You know, I'm gonna control what happens, so I'm more focusing on myself. I'm gonna put those hands on him and hurt him. His ground game is outstanding. And Herman tries a big high knee. And Herman finishes Dirksen. I definitely hope it's gonna be a short night for short fuse, you know? It's not an easy guy to put away, but I'm gonna go out there and do everything in my power to put him away as fast as I can. I'm confident everywhere this fight goes. I'm one of the best fighters in the world. go out there and dominate this fight and show that I deserve to be back in the title contention. Jake, I respect the hell out of you, but I'm going to put you away. Be ready for a fight. The toughest man to ever compete in this sport. I want to go out there and dominate.